Jesus equals 888 actually is the answer to life, the universe, and all things. There actually is, folks, a mathematical answer for the center and meaning of everything in the entire universe. And that answer is exactly Jesus equals 888. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Keep watching all these videos to be awakened to that. Jesus equals 888 is the center of all. In this example, from the Holy Bible, we are going to see the most mind-blowing orchestration of God down to the detail that glorifies His Son, Jesus equals 888. Remember, folks, God is the supreme director of everything in the entire universe. He controls entire cities, entire circumstances, events, peoples, everything he can use to the glory of his son Jesus equals 888 and here we see a chapter in King David's life famous King David probably the most famous king in the Bible that is seemingly obscure and has not been preached on very much but it is one of the most mathematically glorious the whole thing the whole story is exceedingly mathematically glorious but this is very marvelous in its details that that are seem to be overlooked by most preachers well let's let's get into this you will be amazed at how even this, the name of the city of the town that david visits how long he stays there the, the details of the people involved friends this is all remarkably for the glory of jesus equals say today so here we go are you ready to to just be just marvel at the details in the stories of god here we go this is a prime example of everything glorifying Jesus equals day to day in the details. And in fact, the glory is in the details. When someone tells you a story and tells you the details, that's when they take time to tell you a detail, that's when you know it's significant and it's something very key for you to pay attention to. And so it is the smallest details that are the most amazing. So let's watch what God does here. Here we go. And again, God himself has always said, in many ways, the last shall be first, every valley shall be exalted, God hath composed the body, giving greater honor to the parts which lacked it, lack, lacked it, that is, those which are not typically given attention, and so it is, with the largest treasure trove in the history of the world, number in scripture, and in all of history, his story, I can emphatically say, with all the confidence of the Holy Spirit, that this is the largest treasure trove to the glory of Jesus equals 888 in all the earth. And let it be preached on in abundance. Hallelujah. And many of these passages in his word that have never been preached on or been quickly glossed over, now, um, now we shall see one such passage. I make a comment here. How many preachers have ever preached on this passage as we'll see? ever in the history of the world, but we are going to do so mathematically now. Ha ha! We are going to preach mathematically on this passage for the glory of Jesus Christ and the exaltation of this passage of his word. Are you ready? Here we go. Look at this. Here we go. Let's pick up the preamble even. Then David said to Achish, If I have now found favor in your eyes, let them give me a place in some town in the country that I may dwell there. For why should your servant dwell in the royal city with you? So Achish gave him Ziglag that day. Therefore, Ziglag has belonged to the kings of Judah to this day. Now the time that David dwelt in the country of the Philistines was one full year and four months. End of, end of sentence. Wow! Details. Accurate numbers. Let's do the math here. This is astonishing. Note first to the glory of God. Zoom, pull out a little bit here. First of all, the great King David, his entire lifetime was exactly 80, 840 months. 
840 months, his entire lifetime. That is a three-digit all-factor eight number that divides by eight perfectly to the glory of Jesus equals 888. Furthermore, it divides by eight and 15, both seven and plus one numbers, followed by a seven itself. Exceedingly glorious. King David's entire lifetime. That is by divine ordinance to glorify Jesus equals 888. Remember, all-factor eight number begins with eight. Hello. Divides by eight. Hello. And it is exceedingly um, glorious um, with the God number series, 7n plus 1. Everywhere. Keep watching. So, he found refuge here. David found refuge here. A place of refuge. A place of safety. For 16 months. Boom. Did you catch that little nugget? Did you see that? Here in the English, it's translated for one year and four months. Well, do the math on that, my brothers and sisters, and that's 16 months bang on the nose to the glory of Jesus. So that is why this is recorded in the Bible, and that is why this happened to King David. is because God had a plan to glorify his son through this exact number of months that David found refuge in his country, the Philistines, and it's recorded in Holy Scripture for all eternity. Holy, holy, holy is his name. So he found refuge there for 16 months. Double of eight. Emphasis on Mr. Eight. To the glory of Jesus equals eight at eight. Now, even more so, look at this. In the town, the name of the town, we are told, is Ziglag. Here it is. It equals exactly the 48th prime. 48 is an all-factor 8 number that divides by 8 perfectly. Furthermore, it's actually triple eight doubled. That's the best way of writing 48, is a pair of triple eights to really hit it home for the glory of Jesus equals 888. This is the law of prime in action, the intelligence of God. This number is for your completeness. 223 equals exactly the one and only 48th prime, hence 48 in the name of Jesus. Amen. Wow. So that's Ziglag. <laughs> that's why that town is that name, ladies and gentlemen. It's for the glory of Jesus equals 8 at 8. So he finds refuge in Ziglag. <laughs> triple eight, triple eight. He finds refuge there for 16 months. Double eight. And furthermore, this gets even better and even more intelligent. The king who gave him the town is Achish. Look at this. Do the math on this. This is 331. And watch this. By the law of prime, 331 is the 67th prime. 67 is then the 19th prime. And 19 is then the 8th prime. Booyah! So Achish boils down exactly to the number 8. To the glory of Jesus equals 888. Are you getting excited here? Is this opening your mind to how God has literally orchestrated everything in the story of history for one number? Jesus, his son, equals 888. Jesus Christ is who it's all for. And this is why these details are in the Bible. For the glory of Jesus equals 888. And by the way, the glory of this number is so exceedingly great, it is none other than the sum of the three three-glyph roots that Jesus spoke in Hebrew when he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Oh my. So here we are. The entire statement, the entire statement in this verse closes with a, uh, an 8 times 80 finish. God often does this. That the final word will be a strong, strong uh, nail in the coffin, a strong multiple of 8 for Jesus equals 8 at 8. So here's the end of the entire statement. Back up to the verse here, you see how it says, Now the time David dwelt in the country of the Philistines was one full year and four months. One full year and four months. So four months equals exactly 8 times 80. Boom. That's the end. That's a nail in the coffin, a firm period.
to the glory of Jesus equals a to eight. And incidentally, this is even better, folks. These two words, month and four, the root of of these words, month and four, the roots of these two words, both divide by eight individually. That is, every single month that has ever happened from the dawn of time. Pull out your calendar, look at the month that it's currently sitting on, look at the month on the date on your computer, and worship Jesus because the word month <laughs> divides by eight perfectly, as does the word day. <laughs> Today, you are alive. This is the day that the Lord has made, and tomorrow will be another day, and every day that you have ever lived divides by eight. The word day is 56, which equals eight times seven. The word month right here is 312, which divides by 8 perfectly. It also divides by 8 and 12 and 24 perfectly. To the glory of Jesus equals 8 and 8, who divides by all of those numbers, 8, 12, and 24. Wow. And then, again, the, the root of the word 4 is 272, which divides by 8. So both of these roots divide by 8 perfectly. And as I'm just adding the roots on the fly here of these two words, we have 312 for month plus 272 for four. The grand total is 584, which is eight times 73. Could not be any stronger of a finish. Wow. And, <laughs> and okay, so so, you're, so this is already overwhelming with eights. And God keeps going. As if that isn't enough, God hammers this exact finish twice. God uses this exact finish four months again in an even more dramatic story. Let's go to that dramatic story. God uses this same statement, four months, eight times 80. In this story here, with, with another four months, Judges 20, 46 to 47, referring to a battle, and where 600 men find refuge again. It's finding refuge. Where are they finding refuge? They're finding refuge in the rock Ramon for four months. Four months equals 8 times 80. Folks, this is all to declare that Jesus equals 888 is the only true refuge for the soul against the penalties of sin, which is death. Oh my, absolutely. So again, that four months, again, the last words equals 8 times 80 to the glory of Jesus equals 8 at 8. And this, these are spine-tingling details, folks, on those who are saved in this example here, this story where only 600 men escape and into the wilderness, into the Rock Ramon. Rock Ramon, and then it says Rock Ramon again. Hmm, let's look at that mathematically. First of all, the word rock is 160, which is 8 times 20. Ramon, aha, the detail, Ramon, that was glaring at us, equals exactly 8 times 37. Jesus equals 888, equals 8 times 37 times 3. A triple of 8 times 37s. He is, the, therefore, the rock of Ramon is a symbol of Christ. It is a perfect mathematical prophecy of the man who would come and be the rock of refuge for all those who would flee to him. And so together, the rock of Ramon, this plus this, equals 8 times the 8th prime, tripled. A triple of 8 times the 8th prime. That is huge. That's, that's a triple. It's the glory of the triple 8. Jesus equals 888. How many men did find refuge? 600. 600 divides by 8 perfectly. In fact, it also divides by 15, which is also 7n plus 1. And, and again, they found refuge for four months. That phrase we've seen twice now. For four months that someone found refuge somewhere. Why four months? I'll tell you why. For two reasons. Well, for our three and four reasons, actually. Here they all are. The phrase, four months, equals exactly eight times 80. Boom, to the glory of Jesus, equals eight at eight. The roots of both of those words, four and month, divide by eight individually. And lastly, the 
keen mind will calculate that four months, as determined by the classical definition of a month in the ancient Hebrew, and indeed the perfect world in Eden had exactly 30-day months for a 360-day year. You can read uh, compelling evidence uh, for creation and the flood to discover why that changed in the flood of Noah. But a 30-day month means that four months, let's write that here, four months equals 120 days. And 120 is a three-digit all-factor eight number that divides by eight perfectly to the glory of Jesus equals 888. These numbers are so prolific in all of my findings that I have a auto expansion for a short key for that whole statement. So four months equals 120 days. Wow. Which is a three-digit all-factor eight number it divides by 8 perfectly to the glory of Jesus equals 8 at 8. And now remember, folks, eternal life in Greek, which is the climax, the finishing phrase in John 3.16, equals 8 times 8 times the 10th prime. That's the finishing words in John 3.16. So if eternal life is the finishing words in John 3.16, 8 times 8 times the 10th prime, and here we see God finishing these phrases about finding refuge, with the phrase four months, which equals eight times eight times ten. Eight times eight times ten. Eight times eight times ten. Friends, you want the refuge of eternal life called heaven. And only Jesus can give it to you. Only Jesus can give it to you. He is the one and only rock of refuge. It is now being proven mathematically to the world and before your very eyes. Wow. And you have got to get saved from the impending death of your life by receiving Christ. Wow. Wow. And so here are two exact stories where God has stamped this. King David taking refuge in the second case. 600 men find refuge. And astonishingly, 25,000 did not. That number glorifies Jesus equals 888. Even if you do not repent, he will take the glory for everything, no matter what. You must fear him and call upon his name now if you want to escape death. You need to get saved. The Bible says that the soul that sins shall die. The wages of sin is death. Jesus equals 888 is the only rock and shelter from the penalty of sin, which is death. He died on the cross for your sins and rose victorious over death so that you might have eternal life. He lived a perfect, sinless life, which is why he didn't have to die. He was sinless, but he took your place. The wages of sin is death. And unless you receive the gift of eternal life through Jesus Christ, the Bible says you will die in your sins. So, this is the mathematical picture of Jesus Christ as Savior and Maker of the world, to whom all men must flee to find refuge from death. So, now all preachers can preach with some serious power from 1 Samuel 27, verse 6 to 7. And here is our brief review of the facts. In this story, for the glory of Jesus, equals 888. So, in review. <laughs> the king, <laughs> who gave David the town for the refuge, boils down to 8th prime exactly, 8. The town, Ziglag, equals the 48th prime, 8 times 6. The duration he stayed there, 16 months, 8 times 2. Let's dramatize these here. The final stamp on both stories of people finding refuge in rocks or, or finding refuge wherever, four months, that final stamp is 640, which is 8 times 80. Really hit it home. A rock of Christ, 8. Ramon. 8. The number of men saved. 8. The final stamp again, 640. 
8 times 80. Eternal life equals 8 times 8 times the 10th prime. Jesus equals 888, the one who takes the glory for everything in the entire Bible and the entire universe. Give your life to him today. Call upon him for the forgiveness of your sins. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, that he is the Son of God, and that he rose from the dead triumphantly, and is alive and king forevermore, and you will have a home in heaven, and he will come into your heart, and he will forgive all of your sins, and he will give you a brand new heart and a brand new spirit, the Bible says. Call upon him now by faith in prayer. Just call upon him. Open your mouth and cry out to Jesus. Say, have mercy on me, a sinner. That's all you have to say. He understands your heart. He understands that you don't understand everything yet, that you're hungry to grow and learn. But all you have to understand is that Jesus is the Son of God and that he died for you and he died for your sins but you need to cry out to him and ask him to forgive all of your sins and confess with your mouth that he is the son of god and that you believe that he is alive forevermore hallelujah call upon him today worship him right now if you already know him and continue continue to feed yourself the truth of God's word and the truth of God's word that everything is for this one Jesus the savior of your soul and the lover of your soul your best friend forever amen and amen so back up to the talk here remember my friends that all of that glory all of that mathematical glory came out of these two seemingly humble verses in the great Word of God. Two verses that have probably very rarely been preached on for the glory of Jesus in most places, but now let them be preached on exceedingly for the mathematical glory of Jesus. Amen and Amen. Remember, my brothers and sisters, the entire Bible down to the detail and the entire story of God the entire universe is a giant treasure hunt for the glory of Jesus equals 888 it is a giant glory fest for Jesus equals 888 and keep watching all these videos to see more and more gems dug up for the glory of his name Amen.